I'm T Pain from ImpatientProgrammer.net. This is PySide and PyQT layouts in four minutes. A layout is how you arrange your limbs when sunbathing. You can do an A pose, a T pose, face down, face up, or my personal favorite, the spread eagle. I love seeing people get uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, layouts are simple containers that allow us to cleanly lay out our UI. They hold widgets in the order that they are added in. Layouts expand or collapse based on the size of the widgets or layouts in them, kind of like my mom. Some common functions include add widget, which adds the passed in widget to the layout, remove widget, to remove a widget, add layout, and remove layout. Note that adding widgets and adding layouts are two completely different functions. Add stretch adds a spacer that expands to take up as much room as possible, forcing widgets to the edges. Add space adds a specific amount of space, but I never really use this as the results do not always look good. Cubebox layouts. Cubebox layouts are my favorite organizational tool as they're easy to read and logical. Qvbox layout and Qhbox layout are layouts which flow widgets added to them vertically or horizontally thus the H or V in their name. In this example, all we're doing is creating a widget, adding a VBox layout, adding a push button to it here, adding a label, adding some spacing, and adding another qubit push button. Let's see how it looks. So the tool has our one button up top, our two label in the middle, and our three button at the bottom with an awkward amount of spacing in between because of that add spacing right here. Now, I would like to show you the two commented outlines right here and here. And those two lines are simply setting this to an H box layout or horizontal box layout and setting it to a stretch instead of spacing. And if we run that, you'll now see our widgets laid out horizontally and the stretch is added in between to take up as much space as possible and push the widgets towards the edges. Perfect. All right, and now for QGrid. QGrid creates a grid of rows and columns that each contain layouts and widgets. QGrid sets the amount of rows and columns based on the largest number of rows and column values for stuff that we've added. This is super useful for when you have many widgets horizontally and vertically that need to stay sized relative to each other. Let's now examine the QGrid layout code. All I've done is substituted in QGrid layout right here. And then I've condensed our add widget lines here and added two more arguments to them to designate the row and column. And here is the resulting product. We have a button in the top left, we have two two in the middle, and we have button three in the right, bottom right. Perfect. Again, note that adding and removing widgets and layouts takes two additional arguments because you are required to designate the row and column you are modifying. And now for QForm layout. QForm layout is a layout designed to gather user info easily. You've probably seen it a dozen times and never realized it. So here's our example code. Here we have QForm layout. And instead of add widgets, we now have add row. And in the arguments, we have the label name that we will be creating and then the widget we wish to add afterwards that is connected to. And here we have, again, enter name and Q line edit widget. Okay, if we run this, we have a simple form here. Some combo box is created. Of course, there's no items actually in it. And then we have a line edit with, that says enter a name. Awesome. Finally, there's the Q stacked layout. Q stack layout holds multiple widgets, but displays only one at a time. Think of this as a mini wizard where you can toggle between different pages. You typically combine this with a combo box or radio buttons to change which widget is displayed. I personally never use this layout, so we're not gonna look at an example. Excellent work, buddy. Exercises are in the description. If you'd like to see a practical application built from scratch, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you to my wonderful patrons, and as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.